Uh, look like we uh we back at it again with that uh I can't breathe, man. Um it's been a minute and uh yeah, in Ohio. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I'm hearing what's what's the backstory to this? Is that is that this guy was uh driving a car, he wrecked it, and then walked into the VFW? I think no, so. No, no, no. What happened? Oh well, he was in there. He was in there doing his thing, wasn't he? <laughs> No, no. The man was driving the car. He he took out a whole fucking utility pole mm-hmm. and some other shit. Okay. And he went into the VFW. Obviously, I, I guess he was, you know, acting erratic and shit, and they called the police. They wanted him out. They asked him to leave. He wouldn't leave. Um, The police show up. You know, they had no clue who he was. And he, it, it was no opportunity to even talk to him. It was like, no, nah, they trying to kill me. Call the sheriff. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, call the sheriff. Call the sheriff. They trying to kill me. No, they trying to kill me. And you know, he, he went and started resisting and putting up a fight again. And first of all, let me say this. Let me say this. <clears throat> Rest in peace to this gentleman. Uh, you know, he had a hard life. Uh, he was out uh, for 13 days after doing a, a 24-year sentence for uh, kidnapping, uh, robbery, and uh, resisting arrest with a police officer, some shit like that. And, uh, you know, so, you know, he probably has some kind of natural aversion to, you know, police officers, CEOs, yeah. things like that. Yeah, authority. I didn't want to use that word, but mm-hmm. he probably had a natural aversion like that. You know, he probably been through a lot of shit. You know, but, um, it, it, yeah, man, Cat was obviously on one, man. And, you know, I watched the video, and I don't think it's as simple as uh, painting the police officers to be the bad guys, because I watched the video. I'm pretty sure you gentlemen did, too. And for all intent and purposes, it, 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 the, the negligence came at the end, because... Everything they did was was protocol. There was no knee on his neck. It was on his back. The other guy had a knee on his arm. He was saying he can't breathe. And at, at a certain point, you could see the officer, like, it, he didn't even have to push up. He just kind of moved his knee. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think what confused the officer was the guy looked up. He said, I can't breathe. They say, you're fine. Well, to mm-hmm. me... When you hear, I can't breathe, that's when the negligence starts. And you would think that after George Floyd, there would be some kind of training. Yes. Where if you hear a motherfucker say, I can't, I breathe, can't breathe. You get the fuck get up. A, get, get up, roll him on the side, Remote get side. him up. You know, get get, get him to where, <clears throat> uh, you know, his airway has the be- the best access that to air so he can breathe. Um, You would also think that if somebody says, I can't breathe, all right, you got him cuffed. Rolling. Get him Rolling. up and start checking him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Apparently, they waited about, you know, it was eight minutes. The guy was talking to, you know, the people in the VFW, um, which he didn't belong to the VFW. So that's why they wanted him out. You know, it's like a private thing. Um, the, eight minutes. And then once the, he looked down and he checked his pulse, he walked away. And it took another three minutes, I guess, for them to call emergency medical services they gave him Narcan. They started doing uh, uh, what, what am I looking for? What's the word? I'm chest compressions. They started doing chest compressions, and uh, you know he 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 was he was he the man had passed on. You know I I don't think this was some malicious shit like homeboy that was on George Floyd's neck looking yeah. down at him with a smirk. I think it was negligence, um, but you know the, there was ne- I don't know man. I'll let y'all go before I continue, man. Uh, is it normal to hit him with Narcan? So, yes. Okay. Um, since there are no, like, uh, you can give Narcan to pretty much anybody. So okay. it's it's not like there can be an adverse effect to Narcan. Got so it. just in case somebody is, uh, you know, high on, on opiates, yeah, yeah uh, you can give them Narcan as just a, a, a just in case. Because, uh, you know, opiates can fuck people up really quick. And the, the, the first thing that, that happens is respiratory distress. So, okay. um, yeah, it's, it's, it's 
becoming very normal to give people multiple yeah. doses of Narcan um, in any medical situation. Okay. Um, I just go with, I say, the hell? I won't say gross negligence. I would just say negligent yeah. on the fact that they didn't respond. You know, they didn't get him uh, proper treatment at the time. Yeah. And it's key, key. Key, key, key. What it is. Yeah. We got to stop and say, what's up to the, to the other lady at the 3PMD? We uh, what's up? What's going on? Oh, you in that trailer. <laughs> he said a trailer. <laughs> is that what it is? Is that what it's called? Oh, cabin, cabin. My cabin. bad. She in a it's tiny house. Yeah. It's the cabin tiny house. Yeah, I try to. I try to shut the curtain so the so it look like I'm in my own little. There you go. We we well. Oh, I ain't gonna ask you that. Never mind. I was gonna say where you. We at, live. We live. live. Yeah, we don't mind. give our locations like that. We live. Yeah. Well, I'm in oh. Indiana. <laughs> 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 Y'all don't believe that. <laughs> no, but but I mean, I, I just, you know, first of all, we got a 53-year-old man here who put up quite a struggle, man. So, of course, you know, he going to be out of breath. Uh, again, it's unfortunate, and I think that the negligence came at the end, but everything up until, hey, I can't breathe, I think they were legit just doing their jobs. Because at one point, at, at one point, one of the officers said, hey, be still or I'm going to mace you. He said, no, don't mace him. Now, that could be because they, everybody didn't want to get fucking maced. Because if you spray another motherfucker, that shit gets going on everywhere. Of, yeah. yeah, it's going on everybody. Or it could have been a simple situation where, hey, man, that's not necessary. We we already fucked got him down. Right. You know, but um, I just think, man, it boils down to there needs to be a different kind of training. And there should have been a different kind of training after George Floyd. When somebody say, because you get these assholes online that saying shit like, oh, well, if he's talking, he can, he breathe. can breathe. That's no, not fucking, no, that's no, yeah. that's not true. That's, it, 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 that's kind of like a motherfucker play football and you get hit in the, in the sternum and the wind just leave your body. <laughs> you going to say, I can't breathe. That don't mean you taking none in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Um but yeah, that, that's what I got, man. I, I you know, it's a, it's very unfortunate. It's it's very unfortunate. I hate to see brother or anyone pass, especially under horrible conditions like that. Um, I, I I think at the end they didn't do their due diligence. I think when dude looked up and said I can't breathe, I think to make the assumptions that, hey man, he looked up and said he was okay. He's all right. I think that's what it was. You know, that's mm -hmm. where the bullshit came in at. So, mm -hmm. you know, I feel so. I feel for his family. You know, because they only had him for 13 days after 20, 24 years. Ouch. You know what I'm saying? Man, 13, that's, you know, that's, you think, that's, that's tragic. Probably why, that's probably why they treated him like dirt, just because he had a record. You know what I mean? But they but they didn't know that. They were that's, see, well, that's the thing. They were just that's, detaining yeah. him at the time. They didn't even run him a background. They just got to yeah. the scene and was just trying to, you know, get this man in custody first. They didn't, yeah, they, they, didn't, run him. they didn't even get to talk to him. They got called that there was somebody. I, th I think it was multiple calls. So they got the call from the VFW. And then they got some other calls because it was people up the street. Because when you see the officers initially in the video, they're coming from down the street to go into the VFW. And you can see the utility pole is like knocked the fuck off. It's so, it's, it's so wonder the fucking electrical wires uh, didn't come loose. That was the only thing holding up the pole. And it was a bunch of other shit like off in this little grassy area. And when they walked in there, as soon as he saw them, it was like, nah, they trying to kill me. Fuck that. Call the sheriff. I'm like, what the fuck you think the sheriff going to do? Just call the sheriff. Call the sheriff. So again, he got, P yeah. you know, he got PTSD being, yeah, being yeah. you know, locked down that damn long, and he just got his freedom. Thirteen days, not, not even a month. Mm -hmm. wow. So what do you think uh, his family going to do? How do you think it's going to play out as far as uh, lawsuits and shit? What you got? Oh, go ahead, Miss Kiki. Hopefully they um, get what they can. You know, because that's that's horrible. At the end of the day, if somebody say they hurt him, you're supposed to treat them out like, like a human being, not like just treat them like a human being. If somebody say I hurt, get them treated. Don't want, all you got to do is call the what is that? The um, ambulance. Well, okay, see, you know, the police are medical first responders to begin with. Um, that's that's number one. Number two is once that man is in their custody his safety is their responsibility Absolutely. so 
uh, hopefully this family uh, gets a huge payout. Uh, these officers get fired. And, you know, something changes in uh, policing. But, uh, of course, we've been saying that shit for, you know, yeah. as long yeah. as black people have been. been alive. So, <laughs> um, you know, we, I mean, we just need to come to the fact, uh, the realization that nothing's going to change. This mm -hmm. is the over policing of America. And uh, this is the new normal. So unless someone's willing to fight back. This can possibly happen to anybody. This is why I was like, nobody's even talking about this. This has just been a, you know, a one yeah. pretty much damn near a one day story. It's not even on the, on the radar. Yeah. There's nobody marching, nobody saying shit about it. You know, and that happened in Canton, Ohio, where, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, what I'm so scared about because I'm just like, that's close to how. Well, I think this. I think the circumstances are slightly different. Um, and I agree with you, Cuddy, on everything. Uh, things do need to change. But at the same time, I'm also say things need to change with the way that uh, especially we as black folk conduct ourselves with them. Meaning, you're going. If, if these motherfuckers show up, you're going. <laughs> Nigga, you're going. Yeah. You can, you can, you can, I ain't going. No, motherfucker, you're going. You're going. Let me tell you, look, man, my son was a cop. You're going. The, 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 listen, let me tell you something. The weapon ain't the gun. It ain't the nightstick. It ain't the pepper spray. It ain't the, the stun gun. The weapon is that radio. You fucking going. When they call for that backup, you going. Putting up that fight is just just go deal with it later. You, it's going to cost you. Hey, Amen. Uh, uh, deal with the judge before you deal with the mortician, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um we gotta, we gotta we gotta understand too that these are people man and it's hard to have sympathy for a motherfucker that's putting up a fight with you you know what i mean and you trying your best to be professional let me say something man people can say what they want about cops but you're gonna call them when some shit happens you're gonna you're, you're gonna call them when some shit happens all these people like we could let the, street, the streets ain't dealing with a motherfucker thing or else george zimmerman wouldn't still be alive you know what i'm saying or a bunch of these motherfuckers that commit these crimes against women and kids. At some point, motherfuckers got to just say, hey, man, look, my idea is in my pocket. Where you want my fucking hands? Hey, my name is such a... Such. We, you know, you got to treat that shit like, like Sears School. Treat yeah, that I shit mean, like Sears School. We got, hey, it's, this is like you said, man. This, this isn't like the George Floyd thing, man. This is a case-by-case -case situation, <clears throat> but it's the fact that yeah. it goes back to old man's point when he said that once you cuffed you in their care you know that's you're you're their liability at that at that let me time. say this so let me say going, this. something's going something and then i want to say something this. oh go ahead go ahead go ahead say I, it. I just because i wanted to say i wanted to um piggyback on what you said like i agree with you and everything but we have to stop that as a narrative as a people too you know what i'm What's saying that? because yes true you act as the best thing is to be calm you know what i'm saying because you because the color of your skin but then we can't say that because you got white people that act a fucking whole ass when they're, you know, even though they're privileged, but we still can't be like, oh, you should have did that. That's like, it's, it's like basically us as a people slapping, giving a cop a slap on the ass, like, oh, it's okay because he was acting an ass. No, there are white motherfuckers that done stole cars, that done beat up cops and still live the next day. You know what I'm saying? But I get exactly what you're saying. But at the same time, we do need to change that narrative. Oh, you well, shouldn't have did this. Well, but I, I agree. The I, cops won't get called unless there's an asshole acting up. You know what I'm saying? I just well, think no, that no, cops no. need to learn how to deal with that asshole, no matter the color of their skin, treat them like human beings. But I know that's a perfect world. My, no, I'm not saying, don't don't take that as me saying something like showing out. If that's a if that's what it sounds like I'm saying, because it probably do sound like I'm saying, hey, man, stop No, I get exactly out. what you're saying. You know what but, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, now I'm going to tell you, I've been watching a lot of these, what is it, cop cam or some shit on YouTube. They be fucking them white people up, especially them white women. They be, <laughs> they be, they be putting these, they be hog tying these bitches, putting the spit mask and helmet, the bitches be in the back, I can't breathe. That bitch, you shouldn't have spit on me. <laughs> you shouldn't spit. You shouldn't spit on me. They get that. Oh, he touched my pussy. They're like, look, man, the bitch crazy. I ain't. It's all on camera. Ain't it's nobody all, touching the camera on. No, all I'm saying. I'm what I'm saying is this. It's kind of like Sears. It's kind of like in Sears school. 
I didn't go. I know people that went. They said what they teach you is just give give them your name, social security, uh, your rank, and your unit, and that's it. You know that goes for motherfuckers in the interrogation room. Say lawyer, quit letting nigga quit give you. A, yeah, let quit that nigga give you a McGriddle and you telling on the crew, nigga. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And incriminate yeah. yourself. You, you know? give me, you give me an Amber McGriddle <laughs> and, a, and an Arizona iced tea. I tell you everything. Yeah, these niggas get a McGriddle and a, you know, Orange Julius, nigga, and they they telling everything. You know and, what I'm and saying? And don't, don't forget when they turn that 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 AC on, they do this. Shit. Right, right. You know, I, I'm I'm there. You go. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm just saying. It's not even. Wait, who it's, is that? It, it, it's not even. Just- Never mind. Oh, because they, cause, no, they, cause they turn that AC on to make you uncomfortable in that bitch. Yeah, the motherfuckers be trying to go to sleep. Uh, you yeah, know. no. You watch know. first 48. You know, they, they, they like, no. it's going to be up. You're going to be up, motherfucker. Yeah. Unfortunately, you gonna sit here? I yeah. stayed the night in the drunk tank before. Yeah, so oh, it, it happens. You know, what, I'm, what, <laughs> what I'm saying is, that, this, what I'm saying is, um, you said that. You're in their care once they cuff you. Once the motherfuckers show up, you need to consider it that you're in their care. When don't ask, hey, am I being detained? Nigga, if you're in front of you, you detain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, just you know, my, my my thing is, man, it's it's as easy as keeping cool and having a conversation with them. It ain't about kissing nobody's ass. They have a conversation. If they say, All right, man, look, I'm taking you down, hey, it is what it is. You ain't go you're not not going. You know, yeah. and and I'm that's why I said I think the brother, like we said, had PTSD. Man, he, you know, he had other men telling him when to piss. And I'm saying, you know, not other, you know, prisoners. I don't want to make him sound like he's some sour puss. I'm talking about these COs, man. They tell you when to eat, where to go, what line to stand in. You know, ain't no telling what the fuck he dealt with. I mean, it was his yeah. decisions, but ain't no telling right. what kind of inhumane treatment he was subject to. All of these motherfuckers know is they getting a call that a motherfucker and took out a goddamn utility pole, and now he done ran up in 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 the VFW acting all erratic and shit. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He still shouldn't be dead. When you hear "I can't breathe," hey, look, if I'm a cop, nigga, if I hear "I can't breathe," I'm to hey, no, let him up, goddamn it, we we no, because. All our ass is gonna be in trouble. Put it on. I like. I mean, you on stage. It's a performance. As soon as he say, go. "I can't breathe," it was like, "Get him some oxygen." Yeah, you know, roll him over room. just to protect your own ass. As mm-hmm. soon as you, those should be like, you know, trigger words. Yeah, you know. And if it doesn't, then you get what you get. You know. But yeah, yeah. man, we uh we beat this one around the horn for a little bit longer than normal. Uh, I'm about to get called all kind of sellouts and goons, nigga. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you supposed to unequivocally man. say that they was from, wrong and not at up. all, not at all. It's, uh, everybody has their right to their opinion, man. Not at all. Hey. I, just, I just don't want to see. Not at all. I hate to see. You're not speaking. I mean, you're not saying nothing wrong. I, I've been pulled over. I've been pulled over, and I made that shit easy. I had the motherfuckers bored. They was, they, you know, they get close and want to ask questions. Hey, man, I'm talking to him so he know I ain't drank. You know, uh, you was a veteran? Yep, I was a veteran. Where you coming from? Hey, coming from the comic book store. You know your head light out. Oh, I'll get that fixed. All right, well, cool. I had one that was trying that shit in Texas with me. I had one, she was Irish. She had the accent. I don't know how the fuck it happened. She must have came. Wee, 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 yeah. wee, 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 wee. <laughs> She was Irish and, and 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 I hate that fucking song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, I hate that song. I always think about Eddie Murphy saying, "Well, I can't." This motherfucker said, "Yeah, there. yeah." <laughs> Pull over. <laughs> it's just a motherfucker sitting on the on the top of the car. But um, no, I had she she was fussing at me. Hey, I'm sorry, ma'am. You know, I'm not, I'm new here. I didn't know. Motherfucker, just was completely disarmed by the shit. Like, all right, well, look. Just, just a warning, a verbal warning. You know, it's this way. Woo, 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 and I'm sorry, I didn't. Woo, woo, woo. You know, it, 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 it's, it's. You know, I don't know. It, it's a way to deal oh. with folks. Yeah, let's get to it. No, I'm good. Let's go.